All right, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. And in today's video, I'm going to be speaking on my Rivals of Ixalan pre-release deck. Uh, I actually just recently recently purchased this with a friend to kind of just have some fun, build a deck, and just kind of see what happened and play a set that I don't believe I've actually played. This is that was the first time I played this set and got to really mess with the cards. And same thing for the friend of mine. And so I'm gonna jump in and show you guys the pre-release deck that I constructed. And, uh, of course, also show the remaining cards that I got with the pre-release kit as well. <clears throat> and we're just going to start right up with our promo card here, which we got Arch, or Arc of Orazka. It is a land. It has the ability of Ascend. If you control 10 or more permanents, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game, and you can tap it to end one uh, at a colorless to your mana pool. Or you can pay five and tap it and draw a card, activate this ability only if you have the city's blessing. Next here we have Golden Guardian, a 4-4 four, four defender, 4-4, four, four. Lord. He is a defender and you can pay two and, and force him to fight another target creature you control. When Golden Guardian dies this turn, return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. So of course you want to force him to fight something larger so then... He can die and then come back and turn into his transformed form here, which is Gold Forge Garrison, which is a land, and you can tap it to add two mana of any color to your mana pool, or you can uh, pay for and tap it to create a 4-4 four, four colorless go golem artifact token. So I guess you're kind of reforming him, but just making him not a defender anymore, and you basically get a golem 4-4 four, four, which is a really good beater. Next, we have Charging Tuscadon. I wanted to kind of throw in some big uh, dinosaurs with some cool effects. So it's two red, three of any color. Charging Tuscadon has Trample. And if Charging Tuscadon would deal combat damage to a player, it deals dumb, double that damage instead. So if, of course, in the um, situation of dealing combat damage, it's basically a like double strike. So it's a very heavy hitter. Next one we got here, Stormfleet Pyromancer, one red, four of any color. He's a 3-2. When he enters the battlefield, if you attack with a creature this turn, Stormfleet Pyromancer deals two damage to a creature or player. So I kind of wanted to add in some cards with some burn abilities, and you'll kind of notice throughout this that there is um, a handful of them that have some burn abilities. We have Frilled Death Spitter, which is run red, two of any color. It's a 3-2 as well. Whenever Frilled Death Spitter is dealt damage, it deals two damage to target opponent. So another burn ability. This man also has a burn ability. He is a pretty pricey one. He's two red, a four of any color for Sun Crowned Hunters. He has Enrage. Whenever Sun Crowned Hunters is dealt damage, it deals three damage to target creature. So 5-4 is actually obviously a good plus. And you, of course, want him to be blocking creatures, so then you can turn around and deal that three damage to target opponent. And, of course, you know, it just it's just more of those burn effects that are very, very effective. And same thing here with Bombard. One red, two of any color. It's an instant. Bombard deals four damage to target creature. Very nice for those larger creatures that are a little bit more difficult to deal with. And I have actually two of those in here. We have another Charging Tuscadon, another Bombard. And our next card here is Lightning Rig Crew, which is one red, two of any color. It's a Goblin Pirate. Lightning Rig Crew deals one damage to each opponent whenever you cast... That's if you tap it. It deals one damage to each opponent. Whenever you cast a pirate spell, untap Lightning Rig Crew, and he's a 0-5. We have Reckless Rage, which is one red mana. It's an instant. Reckless Rage deals four damage to target creature you don't control, and two damage to target creature you do control. So, of course, it's kind of that backlash of taking that two damage, but, of course, if you have a 4-4 four four or, like, some sort of larger creature just ending basically above a 2-2, two two, taking that two damage is not, very, is not really that bad, considering if you can knock out a 4-4. Four four. Or, frankly, that app just happens to have four toughness and knock out a big creature that may have a pretty strong ability. So it's very effective in that way. We have Mutiny. Uh, it's a sorcery for one red mana. Target creature an opponent controls deals damage equal to its power to another target creature that player controls. Really nice. Next, we have Fanatical Firebrand, which is one red for a 1-1. One -one. He has Haste. You can tap him to sacrifice him to deal one damage to our creature or player. Just more burn abilities and just a cool little uh, quick play. One, man, uh, one one for one. 
We have Fire Cannon Blast, which is two red, one of any color. It's a sorcery. Fire Cannon Blast deals three damage to your creature, and it deals three damage to that creature instead if you attacked with a creature this turn. So I love, of course, going for that raid ability. Next, we have Stampeding Horncrest, one red, four of any color. He's a 4-4, four, four. Stampeding Horncrest has haste as long as you control another dinosaur. That's, of course, a nice added effect, considering I have quite a few dinosaurs in this deck. Next, we have Dusk Charger. One black, three of any color, is a 3-3, three, three, has Ascend, which means, of course, again, you have 10 or more permanents, you get the City's Blessing for the rest of the game. Dusk Charger gets plus two, plus two, as long as you get the City's Blessing. So, of course, you want to, with this deck, I was really trying to go for that with the City's Blessing to, of course, boost him, and, uh, of course, with that land, have that draw ability. Um, now we have Arterial Flow, two black, one of any color. Each opponent discards two cards. If you control a vampire, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. And that's why I added some vampire cards in here for, of course, the uh, effect of this card. Which, I mean, it's kind of nice in the sense that it still has that pretty decent ability of discarding two cards, but then you get the added. If you control a vampire, each opponent loses two life and you gain two. We have Vampire Revenant, which is just a 3-1 flyer for four. Uh, another Arterial Flow, another Vampire Revenant. We have Deadeye Tormentor. Whenever, when Deadeye Tormentor enters the battlefield, if you attacked with a creature this turn, target opponent discards a card. He's a 2-2 for 3. Moment of Craving. Simple 2 mana to get a minus 2, minus 2 until the end of the turn, and you gain 2 life. Of course, to knock out those smaller creatures and get that benefit of the life gain for 2 mana isn't too bad. I believe one of these is foil. I can't even see with the camera. Okay, it's this one right here. I can barely tell. Next, we have Dark Nourishment. It's uh, for a black and four. You have, it says Dark Nourishment deals three damage to target creature or player and you gain three life. Another burn ability and then that is, and the last card we have here is Spreading Rot. Yes, there should be red mana in this deck, but I, well, it didn't have any red mana on me at the moment, so I had to use it from um, a mono red deck. So of course it's not gonna be here and it's just gonna be Swamps. But Spreading Rot, I thought this would be a cool card if I was actually able to play it at a viable time. Uh, one black, four of any color. Destroy target land and its controller loses two life. It's a simple, simple sorcery, but I, I think it's fun to destroy people's lands. So that is the deck. It obviously definitely could have been better. I just kind of had my own difficulties of uh, finding synergies with a lot of things. And a lot of times, obviously, that can also be my fault. So, which I would say that it was. Of course, you get your 20 side of the always getting these things. And we're going to grab the remaining cards here and just run through them real quick. So we got a Woodland Stream. We have some tokens, Merfolk, Treasure. Uh, more tokens here, some lands. I think it, yeah, I was going to say I threw all these on top. Get the Sitting's Blessing, of course. Okay, now I have all the rest um, done right here. So we have a Spire Winder, a Sailor of Means, Lookout's Dispersal, Wind Strider, Death, Depths of Desire, Water Knot. Something I want to point out is I actually had a really hard time getting duplicates of even remotely decent cards. So, uh... I kind of just ran a lot of my cards that I had duplicates just to create at least some form of consistency, which consistency is key, very much helps. But, you know, gets the job done. Deadeye Rig Hauler. We have a Negate, classic. Flood of Recollection. Sea Legs. Onto our artifacts, we have an Awakened Amalgam. A Silent Gravestone. Gleaming Barrier. Sorceress Spyglass. A uh, Herophant's Chalice. A lot of my rares were actually artifacts. Uh, Oraska Relic. Hostage Taker. Belligerent Brontodon. Pro Protean Raider. Evolving Winds. Oraska Frillback. Two of those. Oraska Raptor. We have a Shatter. Brazen Freebooter. Buccaneer's Bra Bravado. Headstrong Brute. Nest Robber. Hunt the Weak. Two hunt, two hunt the weeks. Uh, Cacaphodon, I think. Yeah, I think so. Two of those. Two Knight of the Stampede. Jade Bearer. Forerunner of the Herald. We have Jungleborn Pioneer. Crash of the Ramparts. Jade Guardian. Ravenous Daggertooth. Costly Plunder. Desperate Castaways. Mausoleum Harpy. Imperial Lancer. Territor Territorial Hammer Skull, jeez. Shining Her Her uh, Aerosaur, K 
Kinjali's Kinjali's Collar, <laughs> Lord. Vampire Zeal, Snubhorn Sentry, Luminous Bonds, Sun Sentinel, Blazing Hope, Exultant, Exalt, oh my God, Exultant, Sky Marcher, Lord, I'm doing a terrible job reading these cards. Moment of Triumph, Glorifier of Dusk, Cleansing Ray, two Cleansing Rays, and two Raptor Companions. So that's a showcase, a showing of my pre-release deck that I constructed, and then of course the remaining cards that I got also in the pre-release deck, I mean, uh, pre-release pack that I did not use, but obviously a lot of those cards are still pretty cool and be pretty fun to use, and a lot of those car green cards, green was definitely, uh, green and red I think were definitely my dominant colors, which I feel like I, I think about it now and I probably should have went with, but I kind of thought black and red would be a fun combination, and based off the gameplay, I found that it was. So, if you all enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and of course a thumb down, thumbs down if you didn't, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day.